Okay, here is how to get started with using the lesson bank. So, you know you want to do it, you know you're in, here's how to do it. <clears throat> so, go to the VIP Kid Lesson Bank info site. The info site's web address, if you want to use the bit.ly link, is bit.ly forward slash lesson bank. And here you will be. You can also Google it. <laughs> so on the lesson bank site, we have a bunch of tabs at the top. Pick PLB Pay and get started. Once you click on it, you can scroll down. And then here's the first place to pay. So you click on the EX. Here's the square. You want one, add to cart. Make sure it says just one. And then check out. You fill this out. With your information, you can say a little hello to me in the, in the notes section and then click place order. Once you do that, you will get a receipt from Square automatically. So you can check your spam or you can it should be in your inbox with whatever email address you put in here. Um, <clears throat> if you don't see that receipt or if you can't see on the receipt where it has the link, honestly, sometimes Square sends it and sometimes it doesn't. And I'm not sure what's the difference and why. Um, then you can come to step number two, two out of three, if you just keep scrolling down and fill out this Google form. You can fill out this form immediately anyway, and I will send you an email with all the information. So if you check your email, it will be here. Welcome to your personal lesson bank 3.0. You can click on it and all the information you need to get started is written out, but I'm going to do it with you step by step here too. So then you can uh, come to your <clears throat> um, PLB, you click the quick copy. Once you click that, then this copy page will come up. Click make a copy. Okay, and then it will make a copy in your personal Google Drive. So you want to rename it. That's the first thing. You want to click up here and put your name in. Sarah's Personal Lesson Bake 3.0. And I'm happy about it. Yay! <laughs> you can name it whatever you want. Okay, so now this is your personal lesson bank and it's ready to go. But there's one thing you need to do. You want to authorize it. So if you click this generate resources, it'll say authorization required. Click continue. Then this pop-up's going to come up. Select your email address. It's going to say app isn't verified and it looks like worrisome, but it's not. Click advanced. Scroll down. Go to PLB authorization, click that, and then click allow. That is what's written out in the email, that step. You only have to do that once, and now it's ready to work. So now, when you come to your lesson bank, or not to your lesson bank, when you come to the VIP Kid page, click the class tab, click the classrooms, and then you can use the upcoming classes or the all classes. Whichever you prefer, they just put them in different orders. So whichever one you want to have it, how you want it in your lesson bank, you can pick however you want. Then you want to highlight the rows, copy them. Okay, come to your personal lesson bank and you're going to paste in that information. Once you do that, then you can click, click gener generate resources button. Then it'll pull in all of the resources for you. The formatting will be funky and weird, so then you want to come to Format Sheet and click Format. It'll run the script, and then bada bing, bada boom, it looks all nice. <clears throat> so now you want to highlight all these, because this is the Generate tab. On the Generate tab, we don't want to house our resources and our information here, because each time we click this Generate button, it will refresh it, and it will delete any notes that you take. So you're going to select the top row on the number, scroll down to the last one, and you can do one under, hold shift, click the last number. So now we've highlighted all of these rows. Now we're going to copy it, so control copy, or you can right click and copy, whichever you want, and come to your lesson planner, click on A2, or whichever one is empty at that point, and push paste. Now you have all your resources in your planner. Here is where you want to house them and save them from ever, forever. You never have to delete these. Don't because there's no reason to. They're saved automatically. You don't have to click any save button onto the cloud, store it in Google Sheets. So as long as Google is running, you will have them. <laughs> and if Google isn't running anymore, the world has changed. So you're okay. Or we're probably all not okay if Google isn't running anymore. Because <laughs> I'm a Google bot. I love Google. Anyway on track. So now this is where you're going to house and keep all of your lessons forever. Now, 
pretend this is the next day you want to go get ready for. So this is what you want to do. You want to click on the row, scroll down however many you're going to do. So I always do too many because so, it's easier. So scroll down, click shift again, click 10. Now right click, see it highlighted all those rows. If you right click, now it'll let me insert nine above. That's what I want to do or insert however many you just highlighted above. Now I have more up here and this is what I do. You can do it however you want. I click that row and I like to make it a color so I can see in between each one. And now I'm gonna go pick my next day. So say I come here and I did those ones so we'll scroll down here and I'm gonna do these ones. They're not real days, you guys, but I'm just doing it to show you. Okay, I highlight these in my VIP Kid Portal. Then I'm gonna come back over to my lesson bank. I'm gonna go to tab number one because I wanna generate. So now I have these old lessons. Oh, I wanna get them out of here. So again, click on the first row and just if you click the number, it does the whole row. Scroll down, shift, highlight a row below so they're all highlighted and delete. So now you have room for your next day. So click on here paste it in there, get my resources, it'll run the script, it'll all generate, and then I'm going to format it. So I come up here, finish script, needs to get out of my way, format sheet, format, it'll make it all look nice, and then I want to highlight the first row, scroll down, highlight them all, see, copy them, and put them now, see now I have this little chunk, now I'm going to select the first cell, A2 again, and paste them in there. And then if you notice, see I didn't do quite as many. I had like two extra rows between my days. Then it's really easy, you can leave them if you want, or you can just highlight these rows and then delete them. That's what I do. You can do it however you wanna do it, but I like it this way where I'm always putting my next days at the top, at the top, at the top, because then now in the morning I know that I'm gonna start at my purple line. This is my first class that I'm gonna use and then I'm going to have my next class, my next class, my next class, my next class. And then when I get to the top, I'm done teaching for the day. Woohoo! And then it's a party time. <laughs> and then when I'm ready to do my next one, then again, I just select the rows. I scroll down to however many. I hold shift. I insert Ted above. I make that first one whoop, a color. And I always do the same color. I like purple. But maybe you want to do them different colors because it's your thing, whatever you want. Um, and so in that way, then I have my days all chunked by colors. It's ready to go here. And if you want to be like a clean resource doc person, then after you have these ones and you've converted them over, just delete them. So this is ready to go. This is you just want to generate here and then house everything here. Save it all here. So then you can get all your resources. If any of this is ever confusing getting started, the launch here step by step goes through everything we did with activating it. Um, once you've activated it, <clears throat> you can delete this tab. You don't need it anymore. On here, these are all the links to all of the sites you might ever want with the lesson bank. So the first one is the lesson bank site. That's the one where we started. Uh, this one, if you noticed, all of these, all the information that I ever people ever need to know is housed here. Um, we have a new announcement page. If there's new announcements coming out, I'll put them there. I also try and put them on the Facebook page, but for those who aren't on Facebook, that's where we'll, where we'll have them. Um, training videos, personal lesson bank, and I try, I'm going to try real hard to keep this very up to date <laughs> so that if something's happening, it's here. Okay, um, back to what we were talking about. Mm, I don't remember. <laughs> what were we talking about? Okay, so then we have the link to the Facebook page. If you hover over it, this little thing comes up. You can click on it. It'll come to the Facebook page. Please join it. If you ever have questions, ask on here. And it's just a community page. You can ask any VIP kid question here. This is the Lesson Make community page. Um, <clears throat> further, if you need help, I am have lots of YouTube videos on how to use all the different little features. You can click there. Um, if you want to join the collaborative lesson bank, you don't need to be a part of the collaborative lesson bank to use the personal lesson bank. But if you're ready, if you feel like you're a master, by all means, watch the info video. And then here's the quiz, how to get it. Um, the written out, like how to use it, the CLB is here. And anytime something is broken, where you want to go is on the info site <laughs> under troubleshooting, which usually 
because we have so many tabs now, you have to come to more and come down to troubleshooting. This troubleshooting page is where I house, where all the, the things that people, the common mistakes, every mistake that people make, I house it here to try and catch it so that if you go, oh, I don't know what I did, I did something wrong, then you can start to go through. Oh, I need static lessons versus interactive lessons. Oh, here's how to do it. Okay, my, it's not working, what's wrong? Okay, am I using Chrome? If I don't know how to do Chrome, here's the link how to do it. Am I signed into my Gmail? Here's how to do it. Have I authorized it? Here's how to do it. Here's how to generate the things. <laughs> I go step by step and almost all the time this process will catch it. If this process doesn't, this process almost always will catch it <laughs> and further down. And if at the very end you do everything and you are just like, no, none of these things work, then you can email me and there's like a secret little code that I know if you've done it or not. <laughs> and then I am happy, happy, happy to get, jump on a Zoom call with you and work one-on-one -on -one and help you get it sorted out because to date, we've never had a problem that we couldn't fix. So they're usually just really simple, easy things um, that like you just tw made, you just changed something a little weird here, there, clicked on a wrong thing or something. Um, or, or lots of times what it really is lately has just been, it's a, com a personal computer issue thing. Like once you like refreshed your browser or you like people leave and come back and try again later, then it suddenly magically worked. I didn't do anything. I think usually there's just sometimes compatibility things with people's computers, with Google Sheets. Um, other things that are on the personal lesson bank, if you would like a little tour, I'm going to move myself up here. Um, so we have that, the personal lesson bank links further. Um, here's the PLB info. So if you ever need to know anything that I just said, again, it's all written out here. Um, how to do like static versus interactive. Hopefully we'll have a fix and then this part won't matter anymore. Um, and then like keyboard shortcuts. So if you're like, I don't really know how to copy and paste, or I don't know how to highlight whole chunks. And if I'm on a PC or a Mac, whatever it is, there it is. If you have problems, again, there's that same link that's on the link one. All the info is here. Then we have the trial lessons. Sometimes you have to like, if you have to switch or change it or it gets changed last minute, then here are all of the trial lesson um, that are in the trial lessons that are in the collaborative lesson bank. Here's a tab with all of them in your personal lesson bank as well. We also have um, Teacher Ellie's digital props and reward bank. Going down further, we have the Chinese translations from Nancy. We have feedback translation tips from AV. Sorry, I clicked over weird. Okay, we have our level descriptors, and then we have a backup of the first tab, this one, um, just in case, but also that's covered in the, the troubleshooting page. So <laughs> I try to safeguard and safety net all around you guys, so if you make any mistakes, there's lots of places to get the answer, the same answer, so whichever direction you go, <laughs> you'll find it. Okay, this is the long version of how to use the personal lesson bank all the things that I can think of. If you have further questions, I would highly suggest come over to the Lesson Bank links and then come to the Lesson Bank info site. All the answers to all the questions, everything that's happening is always here on the Lesson Bank info site. You can always, all, all, you can always also check out the Facebook for some resources, but anytime you're having trouble, come to this troubleshooting tab, go through this list, and then you can email me. All right, I hope this helps. Good introduction. You are fully set and ready to use your lesson bank.